Hello and welcome to this training session on LibreView. The purpose of this video is to introduce you to the LibreView platform and how it can be used to get a clearer picture of your historical glucose levels, which some people refer to as sugar levels, as well as talking about glucose trends. This may enable you to make more informed decisions around your diabetes self-management in the future on your doctor's advice. Please note that the purpose of this video is to help you interpret the glucose data provided by your Freestyle Libre 2 system only. Abbott is not providing advice on treatment of your condition, nor is Abbott in any way suggesting you make changes to your treatment regimen. Your ongoing treatment must always be discussed in consultation with your healthcare professional only. When you start using the Freestyle Libre 2 system, the first thing you will need to do if you are going to be using your smartphone is to download the Freestyle Libre Link app on your iPhone or Android phone from the App Store or Google Play Store. To do this, firstly, go to App Store or Play Store and search Freestyle Libre Link. Look for Freestyle Libre Link GB or IE. Press Get or Install. The app is free to download and use. Once you've downloaded the app, you will be guided through the setup process and tutorial. At this point, you will be prompted to register and set up an account, or if you are a previous user, you can log in. So, what is LibreView? LibreView is a cloud-based diabetes management system, which securely holds all your glucose information for you to view, and if you choose, give access for your healthcare team to also view. Glucose information from your Freestyle LibreLink app is continuously uploaded to your LibreView account in real time whenever your phone is connected to the internet, which means that your glucose data is up to date and stored securely. Whilst you will be using the Freestyle LibreLink app on your smartphone on a day to day basis to look at your glucose information, in the background, whenever your smartphone is connected to Wi Fi, your glucose information will be transferred directly to your personal LibreView account. You can access your LibreView account anytime by going to www.libreview.com and entering your email and password. Within LibreView, all your glucose information is analysed and sorted into different reports offering a variety of ways that you can view your stored glucose information. You can access the reports from the drop-down list on the left-hand side of the report screen. The reports are easy to read and I would encourage you to take a look at each of them to decide which ones are useful to you. I will now explain a couple of the most frequently used reports to you. The daily log report shows a profile of your glucose levels over the course of each individual day that you have data. Each day is sectioned in the square box and represents one day of data, showing you how your glucose has changed throughout the day, as well as any insulin and carbohydrates that you may have logged for that day. A blue circle on or near the glucose line shows where you've viewed or scanned your sensor. You will see the actual glucose readings in the white boxes. These are your post-meal peaks of glucose. A yellow apple shows where you've logged a meal in your Freestyle LibreLink app notes. Rapid-acting insulin is shown in a black outlined box. Long-acting insulin is shown in a dark green box. This report is useful if you want to go back and look at any day to see how your glucose has changed in relation to your meals and insulin. It's particularly helpful to see what your glucose levels are doing overnight when you're asleep. Or if you find that you're prone to hypos or high glucose at a certain time, such as after meals, it can help you to see the impact of food and insulin on your glucose levels. Another report that you may find useful to understand is the AGP, or Ambulatory Glucose Profile, report. This is the report that your healthcare professional is likely to refer to within your clinic discussions. It analyzes all your glucose levels over the past 14 days and sorts the glucose information into pictures and graphs 
in a way that shows your time in range and glucose trends, all in a single one-page summary. I will explain briefly what to look for here, but please do discuss this report with your healthcare professional when you go to your clinic review, and they can talk you through what they're looking for. The report is split into four sections. 1. Glucose statistics and targets. 2. Time in range. 3. Ambulatory glucose profile, AGP. 4. Daily glucose profiles. The first section, called Glucose Statistics and Targets, gives an overview of how much glucose data has been collected in the past 14 days. The AGP report is only available for 14-day periods. This is shown as a percentage of time the sensor is active. In this example, you can see that 97% of glucose information has been recorded over the past 14 days. You will see your average glucose as well as something called GMI, Glucose Management Indicator. The GMI, quite simply put, is an estimation of your HbA1c based on the last 14 days, so it can be useful to see how much progress you're making and if you're on track. The next section shows your time in range, time above range and time below range. Time in range, shown in green, is the percentage of time over the past 14 days that your glucose has been within your target glucose range. This is a great indication of your overall glucose control. In this report, the target range will always be 3.9 to 10 millimoles per litre, which is the guideline for most people with diabetes. You can also see the percentage of time above range, yellow and orange, and the percentage of time below range, in red. The general recommendation for most adults with type 1 or type 2 diabetes, who are not pregnant, not older, nor at risk, is to aim for more than 70% time in range, less than 4% below, and less than 25% above range, but don't be discouraged if you're not seeing this right now. This is where you may need some support from your healthcare professional. If you're unsure of your individual target for time in range, please discuss this with your healthcare professional. We then have a section called the AGP. This shows all your glucose information for the past 14 days combined in one picture, as if they have all happened on the same day. The time of day is indicated along the bottom, starting at midnight and ending at midnight. The glucose level can be seen on the left vertical side. The green parallel lines depict your target range, which will always show as 3.9 to 10 millimoles per litre. The thick blue wavy line is called the median line. This shows your average glucose trend throughout the day for the past 14 days. You will notice your median line rising and falling, showing how your glucose levels change on average throughout the day. Surrounding the median line is a dark blue band and outside of this a light grey band. These bands represent how your glucose has varied at different times of the day over the past 14 days. The dark blue band shows what's happening most of the time, and the light grey band represents occasional glucose variations. You can use the AGP picture to identify trends in your glucose and focus on areas where you would like to improve your glucose levels. For example, look for hypoglycemia. See if there are any times in the day where the bands fall below the green target range. If the dark blue band is below the range, this indicates hypoglycemia at this time is a common occurrence. If it's just the light grey band falling below the green line, then it's a less common occurrence and may just be related to a one-off hypo. Similarly, you can see if there are any times of the day where you may be hyperglycemic. In other words, look for where the bands go above the target range. The width of the bands shows you how much your glucose levels vary from one day to the next. If the bands are wide, this indicates a lot of variation from day to day. If the band is narrow, your glucose levels are relatively consistent from one day to the next. The overall goal is to see bands that are flat, narrow and sit within the green target range, 3.9 to 10 millimoles per litre. 
The final section of the AGP report shows your daily glucose profiles. These show you a simple graph of how your glucose levels have changed each individual day over the past two weeks. You can use this to establish which days of the week you experienced any highs or lows, thinking about what happened on those days that may have contributed towards them. It's also useful to look for one or two good days where the glucose line is sitting mostly within the grey band, which depicts the target range. Think about what went well on that day and how you can replicate this in the future. Understanding your glucose trends is beneficial when making decisions about the best actions and therapy changes you may think to take, whether it's an insulin adjustment, changes to your diet, or adapting for activity and exercise. As well as you being able to view your glucose information on LibreView, you can easily share your LibreView reports with your healthcare professional. Giving access to your healthcare professional to view your LibreView reports will help them to support you better by working with you to identify patterns and trends in your glucose levels and tailor your treatment plan to your specific needs. Speak to your healthcare professional about how to share your LibreView information with them. Thank you for listening.